been done by every tribe in history, every tribe facing annihilation. All the Indians of the Amazon are doing it right now. They refuse to bring any babies into the world. They kill every child that comes into the world because they don't want to live in this kind of a world. So be patient, be patient. Death is... I tell you, I don't care how many screams you hear, I don't care how many anguish cries, death is a million times preferable to ten more days of this life. If you knew what was ahead of you, if you knew what was ahead of you, you'd be glad to be stepping over tonight. Death, death, death is common to people. In the Eskimos, they take death in their stride. Let's be dignified. Let's be dignified. If you quit tell them they're dying, if you adults would stop some of this nonsense, adults, 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 I call on you to stop this nonsense. I call on you to quit exciting your children when all they're doing is going to quiet rest. I call on you to stop this now. If you have any respect at all, are we black, proud, and socialist? Or what are we? Now stop this nonsense. Don't carry this on anymore. You're exciting your children. All over, and it's good. No, no sorrow that it's all over. I'm glad it's over. Hurry, hurry, my children, hurry. All I say does not fall in the Shut hands up. of the enemy. Shut hurry, my children. Shut up. Shut up. Um, uh, I'm sorry about that, guys. That uh, ignore that. You don't get it. Don't don't worry about that one. Um, uh, well, you thought we were done? You thought we were? <laughs> what are you fucking idiots? Are you fucking stupid? Are you? Are you, are you fucking stupid, buddy? Buddy. Buddy, look at me. Look at me. Look at me right in the eyes. Look at me. Right. Are you fucking stupid? Huh? Are you a fucking retard? Hey? Hey? Look at me. Don't look away. What are you? What are you fucking dumbass? Hey? I didn't think so. Yeah, we're not we're not done, so we're gonna continue. We're gonna continue with our reading. With our silent re no. Silent. We're going to continue with our reading of this classic literary tale. Mm, you know, I'm, I'm really surprised they removed this from the curriculum. That was very surprising. So, uh, I never, I, I, I can't really say I would have expected them to remove it. So, you know, last time, last time we had a bit of trouble with our run through the game, we, we accidentally fell into Baba Yaga's trap, but uh, it's a good thing we beat her. It's a good thing we beat uh, Baba Yaga, because if we didn't, then we, I'm, I think, I don't know how we would have made it. So we're going to continue our reading. So... A great sign appeared in the sky. A woman, clothed with sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was with child and wailed aloud in pain as she labored to give birth. What? What? What is she looking at? She doesn't look like she's even pretending to listen to the teacher. What? What is she? What? What is she looking at, guys? Um, this is gonna be on the test, so leave a comment. What do you think she's doing? Let's see. I get it, Sam. Can you do it? Yes. Upon being called, she was finished. That's correct. Very well done. Wow. How? Wow. What? She must be able to read minds or something. What's the matter? No. Wait, what? 
Man, this is insane. What a mystery. That's a mystery for next time. No shiberu no toto koto wa no shinderu no kata waga chata wa no. Indeed, but when it comes to living like a student, I feel I behave quite properly. How can you say that? You never talk to anybody, you're totally isolated from the class right now. Matters such as that don't concern me, and besides... Besides what? It's not as though I don't want to interact with anyone at this very moment, I'm communicating with you, am I not? It, with me? Yes, that is sufficient for me. <laughs> she flashed a smile just like the one from when we first met, and my heart started to race. That's her expression heard so big for me, so I'm going to go. Oh, what's the matter? Can I have some kind of report? <laughs> don't be stupid. Um. Class is about to start. Time's up. We said some. I won't forget about this. I will definitely make you the class next time. Now, what a bitch. Or who was the true villain? You know, that's a pretty, pretty riveting psychological question. Who was the who is in the wrong here? Um. Leave a comment if who you think was wrong. Uh, wait a minute. Demo! Good day, Risa san. Good, good day, huh? It's been quite a while. Oh, yeah, it has. The girl who gave me a classic from back in middle school. We were doing classes on our own. We're all close. So, I don't know what you're saying. like you. Thank you for saying so. It's pretty sure that you're the fact that I got the feeling of the. Wait a minute. Does that mean that she's the villain? Holy shit, what a revelation. What a revelation that is. Then I saw a beast come out of the sea with ten horns and seven heads. On its horns were ten diadems and on its heads blasphemous names. Um... The beast I saw was like a leopard, but it had feet like a bear's, and its mouth was like the mouth of a lion, you know, that kind of thing. See, so the dragon gave it its own power and the throne, along with great authority. I saw that one of its heads seems to have been mortally wounded, but this mortal wound was healed. Um. Ah! Fascinated, the whole world followed after the beast. They worshipped the dragon because it gave its authority to the beast. They also worshipped the beast and said, Who can compare with the beast? Or, Who can fight against it? Hey, who, who, who can fight against it? The beast was, giving, was given a mouth, uttering proud boasts and blasphemies. Uh, and it was given authority to act for 42 months. It opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God, blaspheming, blas last toys, his name and his dwelling, and those who dwell in heaven. It was also allowed to wage war against the holy ones and conquer them, and it was granted authority over every tribe, people, tongue, and nation. All the inhabitants of the earth will worship it. All of his names were not written from the foundation of the world in the book of life, which belongs to the land who was slain. Whoever has ears ought to hear these words. Anyone destined for captivity goes into captivity. Anyone destined to be slain by the sword shall be slain by the sword. Such is the faithful endurance of the holy ones. Then, I saw another beast come up out of the earth. It had two horns. It wielded all the authority of the first beast in its sight, and made the earth and its inhabitants worship the first beast, whose mortal wound had been healed. It performed great signs, even making fire come down from heaven to the earth in the sight of everyone. It deceived the inhabitants of the earth with the signs it was allowed to perform in the sight of the first beast, telling them to make an image for the beast who had been wounded by the sword and revived. It was then permitted to breathe life into the beast's image, so that the beast's image could speak and could have anyone who did not worship it put to death. It forced all the people, small and great, rich and poor, free and slaves, to be given a stamped image on their right hands and their foreheads, so that no one could buy or sell except one who had the stamped image of the beast's name, or the number that stood for its name. Hmm. Doesn't that sound familiar? Doesn't that make you think of something? Doesn't that, doesn't that make you think of something? 
Um, wisdom is needed here. One who understands can calculate the number of the beast, for it is a number that stands for a person. His number is 666. Wait a minute. 666? What? I heard of that before. Man, it kind of reminds me of, uh... Kind of... 666, that's like a lot. It's a pretty big number. Uh -huh. Studying during the break, so very diligent of you, Risa san. Mamiya san, you're just getting here so late. Uh, am I? This is earlier than usual for me, though. Oh. Zen Zen the medicine. Uh, she has such an audacious And the girls around us are far from giving her reproachful looks. This actually is early for me, son. But, uh, we're gonna save, guys. We're gonna save. We're gonna overwrite our save. We're gonna save a new one. We're gonna. We're gonna delete this one, though. Uh, delete this. Delete this. There she goes, spacing out again. Just one. I, wait, one. Wait. What? Hold on, what? I wanna beat her into submission? Wait, she said that aloud, though. You know what I like. <laughs> um, man, she's the antagonist. How creepy. <laughs> Gee, she doesn't even know what I'm thinking. So annoying. No, I really, really want to be rid of submission. But, how? From that point on, all I could think about was how to get Mia san to lose her cool. I'm still not coming up with any good ideas. Mia san, something, something, I don't care what the hell is this shit, fuck off. Tea party? Is that like, uh. The tea, the. You know, the tea party? Uh, Risa san. Something, something, something. Ha! There was Mia san sighing like she was bored again. It wasn't just classes, but school events of any kind she had absolutely no interest in. I mean, I can't even get a picture of my son. I'm just like, 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 I'm just Well then, I'd like I is a Mia-san to be that person. Then Mia-san looked at me and then wait. Do you guys hear that? Well, no. I can hear her coming. Oh, guys! Oh no! Oh! Oh no, guys! Oh no! Oh no! While we may have beaten Baba Yaga, we have not beaten her. Just us. We we beat Baba Yaga. We gotta beat her sister. So, wow! I can't believe she's back for revenge. Can we beat her? We'll find out. Oh no! It's Baba Yaga's other sister. Can we beat her? I don't really know. We'll have to find out, I guess. Let's go and defeat her. Uh, we don't... I don't even know what language they're speaking, I don't really care- Oh wait, no. What? Oh my god. She's using her secret move. Can we dodge the, the move? Um... What the f- What? She's like, Jesus. She's like turning it invisible? Invisible? 
invisible? And anyway, Baba Yaga, can we meet her? This is the first of Baba Yaga's sisters. Holy shit. Um, can we defeat the first little dwarf? Um, whoa. Jesus. Uh-huh. You know, not a lot of people know, but this part of the game was originally going to be removed by the creator. But he thought that it would be too dangerous. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm fucking up with a dumbass. He thought this part of the game would be too difficult. But he decided to keep it in because his dead sister begged him to keep it in when he went to the graveyard. She cried and cried. And she cried and cried and begged him to keep it in the game. Holy shit. So that's why it's in the game. <laughs> Alright, we almost beat Baba Yaga's sister. We almost beat her. We almost. Jesus Christ, we almost beat her. We almost. We almost got her. Man, I'm using a bunch of bombs like a fucking dumbass. Alright, get the hell out of here. I can't read that. I don't even. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone can read that. So that. So that was the first sister, so now we gotta fight the last sister. The secret scissor sisters. Uh, leave a like in the comments if you scissor your sister. Uh, this, this is the final stage before we fight Baba Yaga's last si sister. Will we beat her, or will she sister us? Find out next time. Whoa, holy shit. Wait, is level over already? Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't believe I died there. I was a retard. Can I get a, can I do a, can I get a redo? That fucking suck. Alright, whatever. Oh, uh, there she is. Baba Yaga's younger eldest elder sister can we defeat her find out find out now oh shit here we go here we go final battle final battle here we go here we go here we go, here we go, here we go. whoa holy shit jesus whoa ah jesus christ ah. can we beat her Leave a comment in the description if you die like a dumbass. Um, can we defeat her? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we can. She's, man, she's not even that tough. She's like easier than her. Easier. She's easy. She's. Um, she's easy. She's simple. Simple. You know, the old telltale saying, tell told classic saying, uh, a story never told is a Jesus Christ, a story never told is a so story never sold. Okay, <laughs> what, did she heal or something, or health, like, oh, she has wings now, oh shit. Cool. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, you gotta move around here, or you're gonna die. Jesus. And now I have no more bombs, so I'm fucked. Uh, uh, I'm not sure how many lives I have, so... <laughs> I don't know how many lives I have, so... Uh... I don't know how- I mean, no, I know how many lives I have, I don't know how many- Jesus. I don't know how many continues I have left, so... Holy fuck. Really? I saw. I mean, I'm the best player at this game, guys. You just don't know it. Don't know it. Don't show it. As they- As every protagonist likes to say. If you don't show it, you can't throw it. Uh, 
fucking whoa. I'm just gonna keep spamming my bombs like a fucking retard. Holy shit. Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know what I was supposed to do there. Holy shit. Dumbass. I. No. Oh no. We were defeated by Baba Yaga's sister. We couldn't succeed. We failed. We failed, guys. We failed. I'm gonna cry. We failed. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. What does this mean? That means... That, that means that Baba Yaga will be resurrected. There's, there's nothing we can do, guys. We fucked up. Baba Yaga's gonna come back and we're all gonna die. Like a bunch of soup balls wrapped in spaghetti. In a sort of tornado of leotards that's what we've gotten ourselves into will we find it uh tune in next time for the sauce all right here we go guys we're we are in the raid of baba yaga's second oldest sisters Castle, just like Minecraft, I, I believe. Um, so if we want to get by, we gotta fight her maid, Zawarudo. She's pretty. She's Italian, and she's pretty tough. She's pretty. Uh, whoa, she's a. Uh, she has a secret. She may seem easy now, but just just, just, just you wait and see. Here we go. She's pretty easy, I gotta say, pretty easy so far. Pretty easy so far. Pretty easy. Wait a minute. She just saw wire though. I thought, what? She just saw wire though. Saw wire though. The old Italian saying. I guarantee you, you walk up to any Italian person, the first say saw wire though. They'll know exactly what you're saying. They'll get ya. They'll buy you a frappuccino. I guarantee it happens every time. Uh, guarantee. Guarantee it. Or your money back. <laughs> oh, hey guys. So, um, can we beat her? We're we gonna find out right now. We gotta find out. Oh my god, I lost a life. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, I am a witch myself. So, to beat a bitch. To beat a witch. To wit. To beat a witch, you gotta be a witch. You gotta be a bitch. To bitch a witch. Tritch a ditch. Dig a ditch. Tritch. Dude, you know what I'm saying. You hear, you hear, you hear. You hear what I'm getting at here. Alright, so we're almost there. We're almost to Baba Yaga's second sister. There's only... There's only two more sisters left after this one. So if we can defeat her, then we'll be the strongest in the multiverse.
Oh no! We didn't kill the weirder though. Looks like we gotta fight her again. But she's a she's a pushover. We already beat her once. Already beat her once. Already beat her once. Beat her once. Beat her twice. The old the old Italian saying. That's what they do to their wives. Beat her once. Beat her twice. Uh, I think. Yeah, that's the end. <gasps> we made it. Holy shit. Oh, I'm, I'm shaking right now. I'm literally Hitler. Oh my god, she's a vampire? What? What a twist. Holy shit. I never would have guessed. She's a, a witch and a bitch and a ditch. And a tritch. And Wait a minute, is that a motherfucking JoJo reference? Is that a motherfucking. She's a JoJo and a witch? And a stand? And a bitch? And a tritch? And a rich? She's pretty rich, too. She got that going for her. Man. What a twist. What a, what a shocker. What a shosh. What a shosh. I don't think I ever would have guessed. Alright, here we go. We're in the club. We're in the club. Alright, can we beat her? 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If we can defeat her, then there's only one more secret sister left. Then we will have to fight Baba Yaga again. Since she was resurrected. Man. Knives. More like chives, alright? Vlad Tepe's. Who's that? Whoa! She cheated! What the hell? You stupid. Fucking cheater? Yeah, that's a. How many people know that their first time playing the game is that. She cheats. Only she, she cheats a lot, so we gotta be careful with the witch for. She's the tricky one, okay? Holy shit. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure glad I did die until now. Because otherwise, pretty sticky situation. Like the spam bomb. I didn't die. At all. With no help at all. I'm big for it. Oh no, she's gonna use her secret. Red Red Magical. That's a pretty hard one to dodge. It was invented in the 2016 Olympics. Not many people are aware of it. Not many people are square of it. So you see, she has a secret move where she can transform into a bat. That makes her immune to any sort of damage. It's really fucking annoying. We almost beat Baba Yaga's Oh, We died, but we win anyway. It takes, like I said, it takes a bitch to witch a 
snitch, the bitter trich, the rare live. Whoa! Can't hit her with your bomb! What? Man, she's strong, guys. Strong, guys. That was really close. We beat her. We beat. We. We beat. Uh, we beat the. We beat the sister. Now there's only one more until we have the fight. We got to fight the final eldest sister, and then we can defeat Baba Yaga herself. Can we defeat her? Tune in next time.